Go woke, go broke. Oh man, it's been a long day. No running around the house. Hey! Hey! What the hell? Oh my god! What is going on everybody? Wired here. I hope you guys are having an excellent day. And again, we have some more news about Bud Light and their continuing failure. No, this is not about how they are down 26% while their competitors are up 30% respectively each. This is not about how the CEO has not released official apology. This is not about their gaslighting with uh, pro-American ads while not addressing the real issue. This is about a couple who was allegedly assaulted outside liquor store over suspected Bud Light purchase. Now, I tried to phone in to uh, my friend uh, Juicy Smollett uh, to see what he thought about the issue, but he didn't pick up. I guess he's uh, busy making a song about his innocence. So I called up my other buddy, Amber Heard, who I think is busy pooping on the streets of Madrid. But uh, fair to say, I don't know if I necessarily believe this narrative. Now, I'm not going to say there's not a negative stigma around people purchasing Bud Light. I'm sure people are going to give them weird looks, but actually going so far as to actually accost a person for purchasing a beer can. I don't know. I don't really know if I buy this narrative. And as we're going to get into in the article here. This is alleged, suspected, and apparently the people who were assaulted say, supposedly anyway, they didn't even purchase a can of Bud Light. But uh, yeah, before I get into the article, let's read, uh, let's uh, watch this news clip here because uh, it's, it's fascinating stuff, it really is. Just outside of the LCBO at Major Mac and Jane, it's quite a busy location. And according to York Regional Police, there was a pair that was exiting the store over the weekend and they appeared to be targeted for the type of liquor they were purchasing, Bud Light, when in reality, they actually didn't buy this type of beer. But the suspect, thinking that they did, he approached them, he started shouting anti-gay slurs. The woman that was with the man, she got involved, she tried to break up this altercation. That's when she got assaulted. Now, two other suspects came over. They ended up pushing this man to the ground. All of this, Alan, happening around 8.30 p.m. on Saturday. The 27-year-old woman, she was taken to the hospital to be treated for her injuries. She has since been released. The 26-year-old man with her received only minor injuries. Now, police say a bystander was able to stop the altercation, and that's when three suspects, including this this man, who police believe was the primary suspect, fled the scene in a black Nissan SUV. The license plate is CLHL 733. Officers say that the suspect thought the pair had bought Bud Light when, again, in reality, they did not. But the company has been at the center of controversy in recent weeks after the beer was featured by this transgender influencer, Dylan Mulvaney, in a sponsored post. And since then, a number of celebrities and conservatives have called for people to boycott the brand, which has impacted their sales. Investigators say there was a crowd that witnessed the altercation in Vaughn, and they're asking bystanders to come forward with information to help track down the three suspects that remain at large. We would like to encourage anyone who hasn't yet spoken to police to contact us. We are looking to speak with witnesses. We are having our investigators uh, look for video in the area to review video. And we're gonna look at everything because the nature of this assault or the assaults is concerning because of the anti-gay slurs that were uttered at the time. So we are investigating this as a uh, possible hate motivated crime. Now, the YRP hate crimes unit is involved in this investigation, and at this point, investigators are asking these three suspects to retain a lawyer and turn themselves in. Meanwhile, Bud Light has since released a statement from their CEO over social media. They say in part that they never intended to be part of the discussion that divides people. But in regards to this controversy, Alan, they didn't say much beyond that. I'll send it back to you in studio. Yeah, so there's the story here. Now, I want to preface this by saying if this attack actually happened for the reasons they're insinuating, that's absolutely horrible. We live in a capitalistic consumerism society, and people should be able to make purchases with whatever they want to do without being accosted, obviously. However, 
with the words apparently, allegedly, and you know, we think pretty much thrown around in that news article constantly, I really have to question the validity of this claim. Especially since the couple in question who was accosted said they actually didn't purchase a Bud Light product. So I'm not exactly sure how this narrative is being spun, but you know, I'm not sure how any narratives are spun and you know, the mainstream media likes to pick up on them and just run with them. You know, like I listed before, uh, Amber Heard, Juicy Smollett, you know, people run with these narratives when they're completely not true. I can't say either way, one or the other. I'm just saying I have skepticism in this case just from all the allegedly, apparently, uh, supposedly, we thinks in this um, certain case. Now let's read on here. A couple was reportedly assaulted outside of a liquor store after being confronted by a group of men over their suspected purchase of a Bud Light beer. This incident took place on Saturday night in the city of Vaughan, Ontario, a suburb located just north of Toronto in Canada. York Regional Police said in an official statement that a couple was accosted by a group of three men after leaving a liquor store located on Jane Street and Major Mackenzie Drive West, allegedly targeting the 26-year-old male victim's supposed purchase of Bud Light and using various homophobic insults. And like I said, I'm going to preface this. I don't know if I necessarily believe this. A lot of alleged, supposed stuff going on. If this is true, though, I mean, people are allowed to consume whatever they want. Nobody has to agree with the Bud Light boycott if they don't want to. I would highly suggest if you're a patriot, if you care about your children, you do. But, you know, everyone has their own choices with consumerism. So, uh, if this is true, uh, shame on them. And if this isn't true, then shame on the media. But that'd be no surprise in this day and age. When one of the men approached the male uh, victim, the female victim, 27, tried to step between them and keep the situation from escalating, at which point the suspect physically accosted her. The two other men that got involved in the group began attacking both victims. The group of attackers fled the scene after a bystander intervened. The woman was brought to a nearby hospital for treatment of her injuries, while her partner sustained only minor injuries and did not require medical attention. The Bud Light beer brand became a flashpoint of controversy amongst conservatives after its parent company, I would um, asterisk that, not just conservatives, I would say moderate, sensible people, even people who are not that far left, I would say, are not really happy about this, but let's continue. Uh, parent company Anheuser Bush sent a commemorative Bud Light can to Mulvaney, a popular trans social media influencer. I'd ask for that too, but I'm not going to get into that because YouTube's already suppressing my videos enough. To commemorate her 365 tr day transition to girlhood. And that I would say is 100% correct, not womanhood. Girlhood. And yeah, just think about that, what they're trying to peddle down everyone's throats, and we should all just accept it, right? Despite the fact that the so called partnership between the beer brand and Mulvaney only a amounted to a short social media video, Allegedly. That's allegedly. The reaction swiftly escalated with conservatives threatening to boycott the brand and destroying cans of the product on video, while others allegedly called in bomb threats to Anheuser Bush facilities. Now, I've mentioned that whole um, thing before, where I don't think that's a, that on all appropriate in this situation. You can, you know, be upset. You can vote with your wallet, obviously. Don't, you know, don't call in bomb threats. That, that, that's completely uncalled for. You know, people who are working there aren't responsible for it. And even if they were, it's it's not worth all that. I mean, it, it really isn't. A photo of one of the attackers was released on Twitter in a bit of solicit public help in identifying them. He is described as a 25 to 35 year old man with a slim build, buzz cut hairdo, a tattoo on his jawline, and more tattoos on his hands. At the time of the attack, he was wearing black. Second suspect eh, described as, you know, Man with black hair, full beard, wearing, you know, red Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal soccer jersey. And, all right. Like I said, this is, this is the alleged perpetrator. I don't know why he kind of gives me like Count Chocula vibes. Is, is that just me? Am I, that just might just, and he looks like Count Chocula to me. Anyway, if this story is true and I can't verify the validity of it, and I don't even think the news can, like I said, they, a lot of supposed, uh, apparently, you know, we think type of mindset in this. But if it did happen the way they said, and apparently they weren't even carrying Bud Light or uh, a Bud Light product, so they say. They didn't specify what product they were carrying, but either way, that does not matter. It's completely unacceptable behavior, if it's true. But for some reason, I'm kind of getting Amber Heard, Juicy Smollett vibes from this. Because I can't see anybody actually caring enough to go out and actually accost somebody over the purchase of a beer. 
But having said that, there's a lot of people who do all types of wacky things every day in society, which I don't really understand. Anyway, uh, for the people who were accosted, I, you know, whether they're drinking Bud Light or not, doesn't matter. I wish them a full recovery. I, I hope everything works out for them. Their medical gets, pay, gets paid. And if this was a, a hate crime, so as they say, for people just purchasing Bud Light, then I hope these people are, you know, brought to justice. They should be. That's not acceptable no matter what beer somebody is consuming. That's absolutely ridiculous. You boycott with your wallets, not with your hands. Violence is rarely ever the answer. But that's all I got for you right now. Please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, I really do appreciate you listening this long. Every click helps out the algorithm because right now I am being like shadow blocked by YouTube for talking about this so much. But like I keep saying, I think this is a very important issue. I think this trans ideology has been invading everything, not just companies, but also women's spaces. And I'm, you know, a very big advocate for that because, you know, I have a mother, I have a daughter. And, you know, I do not feel like what the suffragists fought for should just be destroyed because men all of a sudden now want to take away things that women have worked for and strived for and, you know, attained. Women should be afforded the equal opportunities of men. They should have their own sports teams, their own locker room, their own safe spaces. And uh, for anyone who doesn't agree with that, uh, uh, I can't say that on YouTube. Anyway, that's all I got. Thank you for listening this long. I will talk to you in the next one. Later.